There is a mineral in our world that has tricked hopeful prospectors for centuries. It glitters with a brilliant metallic luster. Its color is a pale, brassy yellow, catching the sunlight in a most spectacular fashion. To the untrained eye, it appears to be the most precious of metals. Gold. This remarkable stone is known as pyrite. It often forms in the most exquisite near-perfect cubes. Yet, for all its beauty and its tantalizing promise, it holds a secret. This is not the gold of crowns. This is not the gold of treasure chests. This is something else entirely. A beautiful imposter with a story all its own. The name Fool's Gold was earned through countless moments of misplaced excitement. Imagine a miner, deep within the earth, seeing a vein of this sparkling material. The heart leaps with joy. It shines with the promise of wealth and a new life. But this hope is soon dashed. Pyrite is harder and more brittle than true gold. It will shatter under a hammer's blow, whereas gold would simply bend. Pyrite is a surprisingly common mineral, found all across our globe. It is not limited to one specific continent or climate. One can find splendid examples nestled within the mountains of Peru, in the vast plains of Spain, and even here in the United Kingdom. It forms in a remarkable variety of geological settings. You might discover it in hydrothermal veins, in sedimentary rocks like shale, or in coal deposits. Deep beneath the ocean floor, near volcanic vents, spewing superheated water, dramatic black smokers. These create vast deposits of sulfide minerals, with pyrite prominent. In stagnant swamps and marshes, where organic matter decays and uses up the available oxygen, bacteria help create the chemical conditions for pyrite to precipitate. It is a mineral born from both fire and decay, a product of some of the planet's most dynamic and hidden processes. The creation of pyrite is a fascinating act of chemistry, a union of two of Earth's common elements. Its chemical formula is Fe-S2. For every one atom of iron, there are two atoms of sulfur, locked together in a strong crystalline bond. These elements are abundant within our planet but they must meet under very specific circumstances for these beautiful crystals to form. The key ingredient, or rather the key absence, is oxygen. Hot, mineral-laden water deep in the crust dissolves iron and sulfur from surrounding rocks. The iron and sulfur atoms begin to bond, precipitating out of the water, slowly, atom by atom, building the pyrite lattice. This can take thousands or even millions of years. Each gleaming crystal face testifies to that patient process. Another pathway involves life itself. In oxygen-starved sediments, certain bacteria play a crucial role. But when pyrite is later exposed to air and water, pyrite decay can occur, producing iron oxides and sulfuric acid. That is why pyrite in building materials or fossil collections can crumble and leave stains, a reminder of chemical change. Long before it was known as fool's gold, our ancient ancestors recognized a different kind of value in pyrite. Its name comes from the Greek word pyr, meaning fire. When pyrite is struck forcefully against steel or flint, it produces hot sparks. For early humans, this was a reliable method for starting a fire. A piece of pyrite, along with some tinder, was a vital tool for survival, providing warmth, protection, and the ability to cook food. Beyond its use in making fire, pyrite was also a primary source for an essential industrial chemical, sulfur. From the 16th century onwards, and well into the 20th century, pyrite was mined extensively for this purpose. By heating the mineral in the absence of air, sulfur could be driven off and collected to produce sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is vital for making fertilizers, detergents, dyes, and historically explosives. In modern times, pyrite's role has shifted from the industrial to the scientific. Geologists study pyrite with great interest because it is a powerful environmental indicator. By analyzing sulfur isotopes within pyrite, scientists learn about temperature, acidity, and ancient biological activity. Pyritization can replace organic tissues, preserving fossils in glittering detail. Ammonites, trilobites, and other sea creatures. These fossils are both scientifically invaluable and objects of incredible natural beauty. Even today, in an age of advanced science, pyrite has lost none of its charm. Where we can instantly distinguish it from gold, pyrite still fascinates collectors and scientists alike. Its continued fascination lies in its inherent beauty and the remarkable story it tells. It is a mineral that embodies a delightful paradox, 
its perfect geometric forms, sharp cubes, pyridohedrons, and pyrite suns, are a source of wonder. Collectors treasure them, students study them as lessons in crystallography. One must handle pyrite with care. Exposure to humidity and oxygen can cause decay and acid production. While stable crystals are generally safe, wash your hands afterwards. At scale, pyrite breakdown can cause acid mine drainage, contaminating water and requiring remediation. The allure of pyrite extends into metaphysics and folklore associated with protection and prosperity. Seen as a stone that shields against negative energy and encourages strength, not scientific, but meaningful to many. Its solid form and fiery sheen inspire resilience and optimism. Pyrite looks powerful, so we imbue it with the power we wish to see. History, science, and beauty in one stone. Pyrite is so much more than a trickster. A window into deep earth processes, human history, and preserved life. Though not gold, pyrite possesses a wealth of its own.